Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Talk Books. Today I am doing an exciting book haul because it's not just an ordinary book haul. It is a book expo slash book con book haul which is even more exciting because a lot of these books are either not out yet or they're arcs and it's just exciting. And I was able, how? I don't know. I was able to get the BEA press pass which is this guy right here. It is a media pass where I got access for free for the three days of BEA. But unfortunately I was only able to make the one day which was on Friday. I could have gone to at least three of them or at least Thursday and Friday but with work it was just too much time to take off at once. And then on Saturday I went to BookCon with my niece. I took her. But yeah it was a great experience and BookCon for some reason I was expecting it to be way worse. I've heard like horror stories about BookCon. How unorganized it is. How chaotic it could be and for the most part it was pretty chill. Uh, some of the workers there are kind of rude just because I get it they're dealing with so many annoying people and very impatient fans. I have honestly no complaints whatsoever. So I want to share with you what I got very quickly I'm going to show you any merch that I got. I really didn't get that much merch. That wasn't really my goal and I wasn't like trying to get everything that I needed that was free you know. So these are a combination of things I got at both BEA and Book Expo. There are these like magnet things and this stuff. So I got some of those. I could read stuff, some like stickers, some like business cards and bookmarks, a bookmark, another bookmark, Jenny Han stickers. These are actually for the nails. This was from The Darkest Mind, the photo, the Goodreads photo booth. I did some pictures on there from when I met Morgan Matson. This is stickers. I went on a poster. It says, a bookshop is not magic, but it can slowly heal the heart. It's cute. I wish I could have kept it a little more neater, but it's kind of hard. This is a Simon Teen baggie. Got a lot of tote bags. I didn't get too many actually, but I got enough. Got that. I got this one, which was when you first walked in from the Amber Stan company. Got that. And anything else? So I got, so this is my book, this is my book on pass and we got, I got a Lit Joy pin and a Goodreads pin. This is from the movie Book Club. And if you don't know, Book Book Club is a movie about these older w women that read Fifty Shades of Grey and they make a book club about it. And so they had a photo booth where you or someone else can make yourself into the poster. And that's what I did. I am there with my niece and I'm reading, I'm reading the book. I'm like, oh my God. She's sipping wine, very appropriate. But a couple more tote bags, just a couple more. I love Owl Crate. Owl Crate was doing like a giveaway thing. It's like a bracelet that says the romantic on it. I went to to Sophia Elaine Hansen. She had a stand. Got her tote bag that says, may your song guide you home, which is a quote from her book Vinyl. First thing is a signed book that I got to see Cody Keplinger. It is her new book that is coming out in August 28th. It's called That's Not What Happened. This this has to do with a mass school shooting. And as we all know, that is something that is going on in America today. It seems like every week. I'm interested to see where she takes this type of story and what she does with it. So, so happy to have snagged this one. This one was just handed out. It is from Harlequin Quinn, Wolf Lawman by Dolores Fawson. So I'm not too sure what this book is about, but I was just given it, so I took it. Same thing with this book. It's called We All Love the Beautiful Girls by Joanne Pro Prolex. Again, I don't know what it is about. A lot of people were getting this, so I just was like, okay, I'll get it too. This is a book from Jennifer L. Armitra. I'm so upset that I didn't go to her other signing for a different book that she was re releasing. She had two signings that day. 
but this one I actually happened I was going on a different signing and I saw her there and she had like some time left so I just ran there so but I did miss her other one this one is Moonlight Seduction I believe this is part of like a different series whatever it's the signed copy I love her book so I don't really mind this one I've been hearing about this book for a while now and I had to go on the, this line it was a long line from source books it's called The Similars by Rebecca Hanover it is her debut novel again I don't really know too much about this book but I know that like it, I, it's been on everyone's like Goodreads page it actually comes out January of next year so this is a very early copy so that's that this I love the cover it's called A Room Away From The Walls by Nova Ren Suma. This is she is the author from The Walls Around Us which I definitely know that book and I know the cover it's like in my head and so that's why I went on the line to get this book because I knew of this author and her other books and the cover just like caught my eye so her signature so that's cool. This is a book that I actually bought. It's called Radio by Sophia Elaine Hansen. This is the second book to the vinyl trilogy. I she had to stand where because she is an indie author. She can't afford to just like give out all these books. She she did have a stand where people could buy her books and get some like cool merch and her bag. And I I had to go meet her because I've been I read both of her poetry books and this first book and she's like a sweetheart so I I had to go. And so I picked up her book and I got it signed, of course. I'm so excited for it. This book called Tell Me No Lies by Adele Griffin. Also a YA book as well. And this one actually comes out next week, June 12th. I've also been seeing everyone talking about this book and I, everyone had it. It's called The Spy with the Red Balloon by Catherine Locke two bookmarks as well. I'm not too sure about this book and what it's about but I had to get it because clearly it was highly anticipated for a lot of people. I happened to go on a Heather Graham line. Thank God I did when I did because holy crap did I get long as hell and I got to meet her and get her book. It's called Fade to Black. I mean she has a thousand and one books but she is a famous author. I never read any of her books and she wrote Nicole great to see you and then her signature. Awesome to meet her. She was like so nice and like genuine. She asked me like where I was from and like if I was from the area or out of town. And it was just like nice to just like have like a little one-on-one -on -one with different authors and for it to not seem so like rushed, you know? So that was fun. This book, which I didn't know that they were gonna even do a signing, but I went to a panel for the Contemporary Poetry panel, which was absolutely amazing. It was so good and informative. And I had how many authors? So I know I had Nikita Nagil, Amanda Lovelace, Cyrus Parker, Ian S. Thomas, and I think someone else. And it was just about you know modern day poetry and insta poetry and the controversy behind it. And they all just got to talk about like who inspired them, how to get into poetry, how to write it, and just it was such a good panel. They were going to sign a book that they all released together and it's this one called Disconnected. It is poems and stories of connection and otherwise. So there's a mixture of different things like a bunch of different things. This was a total total surprise and it was probably one of my favorite signings that I went to because they were all just so nice. Either someone complimented my makeup or my hair or my dress and I was talking to Ian Thomas and I was like, when he talks to you, it's like, it's just you and him. Like he has this like poetic thing about him, which I was like, oh my God. You know, I told him that the panel was like amazing and it was just so informative. And he was like, that he was just so nervous about it. And he was just like very appreciative of like what, what I had to say and how much I enjoyed the panel. And I don't know, it was just, it was an awesome experience and just a chit chat moment with people. That I never thought that I would like just talk with and hang out with and it just felt so like natural and good it was a good good time signatures I have all these signatures in one book it was pretty cool so I enjoyed that it's also from source books this one they just had, had a pile of them it's called the fallen architect by Charles Belfour it is coming out October 9th yeah 
So I think this is like a mystery book, if I'm not mistaken. This book, again, every, everyone and their mother was has been talking about this and has it. It is called Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. Yes, by, by Tracy Banghart. It comes out July of this year. This is they're calling this like a selection type of series of like a royal stuff. I mean, it's not my like thing, but I'm not like opposed to it. You know, There's another like book that was thrown at me is called Made Hard Work, Low Pay and a Mother's Will to Survive. There's no cover on it yet. This is, I think, what the cover is going to be. This one is called Cold Heart Truth by Anne Greenwood Brown. Can you ever trust someone else with your truth? This was a pretty cover, hardback. I mean, it's a really nice cover. So I think this is probably out, but I could be wrong, so I'm not too sure. Next, so this is a really sad thing. So I was, I mean, out of anyone there, I was obviously looking forward to meeting Colleen Hoover because I wanted to tell her how much I loved All Your Perfects and just obviously how much I love her and her books in general. But sadly, she was not able to attend because her grandfather had passed away suddenly. And of course, you know, she couldn't come, which I completely understand. But the Simon Schuster booth had a bunch of her books and they were like, take them. So, so I got all your perfects in physical form tour for this book. New York is not on there. She said this summer she's gonna make up for her not coming. So I'm hoping she's gonna add a New York stop. I'm gonna go meet her and yeah so bittersweet but yeah it was sad to not see her the witch of willow hall by hester fox i don't think this is signed either so 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 happy to finally have met him and get my book signed and he was i think signing at book con for his other book for the everyday like series thing i'm happy that i did get this book but he did sign Someday, which is a snippet of the everyday series. So it's every day, another day, and someday. But he did sign this one as well. So then I got a couple of kids' books. The other two I already gave away, but I got this one called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I know exactly what you are. This was a kids' book that I got from Source Books, and I wanted to give it to someone that I know. So I got that. So I only got two books at BookCon because there was no other books that I wanted or a lot of the people that I met weren't actually doing signings. So the first one that I got was and that is When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanhai Menon. I hope I'm saying that right. And I was on her line and they were selling the book. It was like six bucks. And I was like, uh, yes, please, because I wanted it anyways. She signed it, and she was so sweet. It was, a, it was a signing, and then they were giving away some free Starbucks coffee, which I thought was awesome. And, yeah, she was so nice, and it was cool to meet her and get her book. Like, one of my favorite signings, because he's awesome. By Nico Tortorella, and that is All of You is You. It's a poetry book. Signature, he underlined this part because it was his name he and he was like your my name is in your name i was like yes it is but yeah i totally like fangirl and flushed and it's gonna be all on tape because i vlogged it he's an actor on younger and so it was definitely different for an actor to come out with a poetry book so i asked him you know how long did it take him to put this book together and he said four and he said 45 days which is actually in the introduction of this book and i was like oh my god like that's amazing and I high-fived him and it was great and he was so sweet and he has like perfect teeth and we took a picture and it was awesome it was a great time so I was very excited and very happy to meet him and talk with him we did the meet and greet with Jenny Han Morgan Madsen hug Jenny Han I was like I love your books and I can't wait for August for 12 the boys love before it's exciting so yeah if you go on my Instagram you will see all the pictures and my vlog will be probably up first so if you see this the vlog will probably be up already if not it will be up we'll see some of the things that happened over the weekend I, I tried to vlog as much as I could just so trying to like hold a bunch of books and bags and it's a lot of things happening so, so to vlog on top of it is a challenge but I got some good footage in 
that I hope you guys enjoy and like. And yeah, that is pretty much it. There's not much else to say. I wish I could have gone to the booktube meet and greet on Saturday, but it was full. By the time I got there, it was full. So I was like, okay, maybe next time. I finally got to meet Danny from Danny Darling. She was at BookCon. And thank God we, we actually met because it's a hectic day where we have different signings to go to and where to meet and what to do. We finally found like a spot to meet at. And I wanted to go see her and we talked and we took a picture and we vlogged it. And that was a fun time and to finally meet her. I mean, I've been talking to her for like four years. We'll hopefully get more time to hang out and talk and do things. So yeah, it was a great time. I had so much fun and I want to relive it and I want to go back and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this book haul and all the lovely books that I did get to get this year. It was definitely a success to say the least. Of course, there were some books that I really wanted. I mean, a few books I really wanted that I just couldn't get or I had to like leave and it's just, you know, you can't have it all. But overall, I'm so happy with the books that I got. I wasn't expecting to get these many books, but I did. And now I have room on my shelf. Since that unhaul, I have room. I'm gonna organize it and next week I'm giving you a freaking book tour of my shelves. It will happen, I promise. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in my next video. Bye.